Hello, Trout in the Classroom participants. So you've added your eyed eggs to your aquarium into the egg baskets, and they're all acclimated. The next step is to go ahead and remove any dead eggs that you received in the shipment. I've already removed some here. I'm going to go ahead and remove the last one. So you can tell a dead egg from a live egg because the dead eggs are going to be all cloudy and they're not translucent like our nice orange eyed eggs are. So we have one right here. So what I'm going to do is utilize the turkey baster to go ahead and remove that egg. And I just have a little beaker here that I'm putting these eggs in. Now you're going to want to count all of the dead eggs that you have. So we're going to count those dead eggs and the live eggs that you received as part of your original trout in the classroom population. So what you're then going to want to do is go ahead and utilize technology to enumerate your trout. So you're actually going to have the abundance, the actual true value for abundance for your population. The best way to do this, I'm going to go ahead and utilize my cell phone. I'm going to take pictures of my egg baskets. And now you can go ahead and use those pictures to gather that exact value for your abundance. You can then calculate the survival of your shipment using the dead eggs versus the actual eggs that are still alive and eyed up that are in your aquarium. So as you come in every day, you're going to want to remove those dead eggs. Now that's normal and that's okay to see with your trout in the classroom aquarium because that's also what's going to happen in nature. Remember in nature only one to two percent of these eggs are actually going to make it all the way to the adult stage. Um, removing those eggs every day is going to help stop the spread of any fungus that's accumulating on those dead eggs. Remember this is a closed system. It's not like nature. When those eggs are in a red out of nature they constantly have new water flow going through that's going to flush those dead eggs downstream. In your aquarium, yeah, your water does go through a filter, but essentially, because it's a closed system, that fungus can spread much more easily. So staying on top of that is really important. You're also going to want to keep track of those dead eggs because you do want to use this as an educational moment to teach your students about survival. So a really great activity that you can do are these trout survival pyramids. So you can just do this on your whiteboard and keep track of this every day. So you, you can look online and you can get to the bottom of your pyramid will be the number of eggs laid by, say, a two-year-old trout. This is also known as the fecundity of a female trout. And using this, you can get an estimate of survival and what's going to actually make it to an adult stage in nature. So the great thing about our trout in the classroom tank is that you're going to get an exact value for survival. When biologists try to get information concerning survival, it's usually an estimate because they don't know the exact population number that is out there in nature, but you do for your trout in the classroom tank. So what you can do with this activity is have your students predict what's going to happen, and then you can compare that with the actual values that you calculate. We also have another pyramid here that you can do to kind of compare what's going to happen in the actual hatchery setting. 